Hey what's up guys, Chicks here from Chicks Tech Reviews and today I've got my hands on another brand new hybrid Android TV box so stay tuned for the review. So this is the Mi Cool K3 Pro Android TV box. So this is an amazing powerful hybrid TV box. You have an octa-core CPU and a twin tuner. So you have a DVB S2 and a DVB T2. I'm really excited to review this. So we will begin with a quick unboxing, followed by a few tests, video tests, full HD and 4K videos, a few Android games and testing Kodi performance, testing out the TV tuner and PVR, and we're going to finish off with a benchmark and Wi-Fi test. So let's begin with the specs. I'll put the specs on the screen so you guys can have a quick read. So this has the S912 octa-core CPU, you've got the Mali T820, you got 3 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, 16 gigs of internal storage. You got two TV tuners in here, a DVB S2 and a DVB T2. You got dual band Wi-Fi supporting BGN and AC. You got Bluetooth version 4, Android version 6 Marshmallow. So this supports Ultra HD 4K videos at 60 frames per second and supports HDR10. So without further ado, let's get the box open and see what it looks like. So this is everything you get in the box. Begin with the instruction manual. Okay, you got a HDMI cable with this. The remote control. So you do have a nice full featured remote control, similar to what you would get with your television. You've got PVR functions at the bottom. You can actually play, record live television here. So PVR function is awesome. And finally, the charger. So I've got a UK charger there. And the K3 Pro. So, wow, awesome. So you've got a matte finish on the top. You've got a K3 Pro logo at the top as well. Um, this is actually a physical button right there. You can press it and it's a light LED light. On the front you have Me Cool logo. So this box is made by Me Cool and Me Cool is just an awesome brand when it comes to TV boxes. Um, I think they are one of the leading brands. An awesome looking box, lovely matte finish all the way around. It feels very premium in the hands, um, a very solid feeling. Okay, on the left, you've got four USB ports. I believe they're USB 2. Micro SD card slot right there. If we flip it around, you've got the power, the optical out for audio, the HDMI. You've got a network LAN port. You've got a CVBS LR port. You've got the DVB S2 for satellite and your DVB T2 for your RF cable. So if we keep on going, there's nothing else on this side. And then we're back to the front. And this is what the bottom looks like. Yeah, so this is the K3 Pro. So to give you an idea of how big this unit is, I'm going to bring in my old friend, the TX5 Pro. So if I just put them on top, you can see, you can see it's slightly bigger by a few centimeters. And in thickness, it's about two centimeters thicker as well. So that was just to give you guys an idea of the size of this unit. I'm really excited to try this out. Let's get this all set up and begin the tests. So this is the home screen for the K3 Pro. Um, it is a typical Mi Cool home screen, so if you've used a Mi Cool box before, then you will already recognize this home screen. You've got your usual shortcuts at the top, and you can add and remove these shortcuts quite easily. Um, all you do is hover over the shortcut you want to add or remove, and then just click the menu button. Okay, and then you'll have the option to remove, change, or add stuff around. Okay, at the bottom, you've got web browser, settings, app drawer. The file manager and TV center which is in fact Kodi so if we go to the app drawer you will see all the apps installed on this system I've already actually installed all my favorite apps on this box so one of the best apps that come with this box is this one here Airpin Pro um, this is a very useful app and it's actually a paid app but but me cool have 
provided you this app free of charge. Airpin Pro, if I just open it up, I'll show you. So this app will allow you to do AirPlay, DLNA and Miracast. Okay, it's normally a paid app. I think it's something like £3.99 or something in the Google Play Store. But you, over here, if you buy this box, you'll get the Pro version free of charge. Okay, so AirPlay mirroring does work. I've tested it with my iPhone. If I just briefly grab my iPhone right now. So we're going to test out AirPlay mirroring. I want to show you guys it working in real time. So here is my iPhone running iOS 10. If I just slide upwards, click on AirPlay mirroring, you will see ATV126 and you can change the device name if you wanted from the device nickname to call it what you like. Click on it and you will see on the screen, on the big screen, that AirPlay mirroring has worked and I'm able to, I'm able to scroll around and see my screen in full screen go to settings and do whatever I want so so that's airplay mirroring working on iOS 10 so the K3 Pro works very well with airplay mirroring so the next thing I want to show you guys is uh, the media center on here it's called TV center and if you open it up when you open it up you'll recognize it as Cody Krypton okay so the first thing I'm going to be testing is playing 4k videos from a USB drive I'm going to play a few of these and we're going to see how the K3 Pro handles them. there you have it guys 4k video samples from a USB drive work extremely well the videos are smooth and fast and look absolutely amazing the next test we're going to be doing is YouTube streaming but before we start that I just want to quickly mention that I'm going to be using this wireless keyboard for some of the apps like YouTube because you kind of need a mouse to navigate so you've got a mouse on here navigational buttons you've got play pause rewind and a full quality keyboard so I love this device and I'll link this as well in the description in case you guys want to check this out so moving on now let's check out YouTube okay so I've got YouTube open I'm gonna first of all play one of my own videos um, so let's just play let's play this video here So I just pause the video to show you the quality. You can see it's on full HD and the options are maximum 1080p. So let's press play now. Hey, what's up guys? Jigs here from Jigs Tech Reviews. Very recently, I reviewed this awesome octa-core tablet. How did this happen? Well, it's a long story. So that was streaming HD videos on YouTube and it done a very good job. And yeah, I have installed so many third party apps as you can see right here and they all work really well. So let's move on now to a gaming test. The first game I want to test out is Real Racing 3. This is the G600 gamepad. It looks and feels exactly like the Xbox 360 controller. I use this on every TV box for my Android gaming. So if you want this, check out the links in the description. So let's continue with the gaming test.
So there you have it guys, that was the gaming test, all the games played superbly well. Now we're going to be testing out the TV tuners. So I'm about to begin the TV tuner test. The first one I'm going to be testing is this, the DVB-T2 connection. So in my case that would be this. I got this indoor aerial with just an RF lead, so if I plug that in, that is it, that is all I need. Um, and if I just place this on a higher position, I'm just going to place it above the telly. So I've just connected my antenna to the DVB-T port. Now all I'm going to do is open up this software called DTV. Okay, so you open the software. Um, I've already got this tuned in, but what you need to do is click on menu on your remote control. Click on installation and you'll see this. You'll have a choice here which one you want to set up. So we're going to be setting up the DVB-T port. So click enter on that. It'll say auto or manual. So we just go to auto search. Okay, all and just click start. And that's it. Let that finish its task. I just wanted to go and dig a hole somewhere and stay there until at least June the 9th, if not 2020. So all the channels have been tuned in. So over here in the UK, these are Freeview channels. On the remote control, you have a button called EPG. If I press that, it will show you the whole EPG TV guide for all of these channels. And I think it's laid out really nicely. You can see the program still in the background, a transparent background. So you've got TV guide listings, not just for today. You can go and look at what's going on in the rest of the week as well. And you've got some HD channels as well, BBC One, BBC Two. So yeah, this, this is uh, all the free view HD channels that you would expect to get in the UK. You have subtitles as well. You, you can turn subtitles off. So you're not streaming here. You're not using the internet here to, to watch this. Sime defends her decision to call for a general election in June, saying it would give her the strongest hand in Brexit negotiations and always will be by your side. Uh -huh. Difference, right? If I just get some blue magic and give it a little bit of a spray, just watch what happens here. Okay, so let's quickly test out the PVR function. So I'm gonna press record and it's recording live television right now. Okay, so while watching live television and recording it, you can't change the channel while it's recording. You, you can only record and watch one channel at a time. So in the Wi-Fi speed test, this box managed to achieve a download speed of 36.96 megabits per second and a 9.5 megabits per second upload speed. So the MeCool K3 Pro Android TV box achieved an overall benchmark score of 41,300. So let's see how that compares with the others. So this is my top benchmark performance chart where you can compare all the Android TV boxes that I have reviewed to date. Higher the score, better the overall performance. So the MeCool K3 Pro has jumped straight into number 6 with 41,300. So it will be very interesting to see which Android TV box I review next and what overall score it will get. So stay tuned for that. So there you have it guys. This is the MeCool K3 Pro hybrid Android TV box. So this box has completely exceeded all expectation. Um, everything I tried just simply worked. The octa-core processor really helps um, drive this box. You got best of both worlds. The TV tuners are great. And um, the only thing I'd like to mention is you can't use both tuners at the same time. Another thing I'd like to mention is you can record live television with this button, uh, but the only thing is you need to plug a USB drive in in order to record. You cannot record it directly onto the internal storage. So the PVR function is amazing. It would have been a little bit better if you could record to internal storage, um, but attaching a USB drive is no problem as you have four USB slots there and it works great. An amazing box. The benchmark score is brilliant. Me Cool is a fantastic brand. What I'll do is I'll leave the links in the description in case you guys want to check this item out. And if you like it, you can of course go ahead and purchase one for yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it useful. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day.